Let's solve this differential equation. x squared plus ln of y dx plus x over y dy equals 0. Now I'm going to be solving this equation with the exact method. But I'm not going to be going into extreme details. If you want to learn the exact mechanics behind this method, I will put a link in the description of this video. You can go ahead and check it out. Over there I go into extreme details about every reason behind the steps that you need to take to follow this method. Okay, now let's get started with this problem. I'm going to go ahead and divide this equation by dx in order for it to come right here under dy. And now I'm able to designate this part as my m and this part as my n. Now before we actually get started with this method, we have to perform the test, right? So take a, take a partial derivative with respect to y of the part m and that will give us 1 over y. We're going to take a partial derivative with respect to x of the term n and that also gives us 1 over y. Since these two are equal, we conclude that we can we are able to solve this problem by the exact method. Now in the next step, we're going to take an integral with respect to only x of the part m. Plug it in. I'm going to break it into two integrals. And after I solve it, we're able to get one third x to the power of 3 plus x ln y plus h in terms of y. Now this is a function in terms of y and that comes from because we are taking an integral with only respect to x. Therefore we will be having a term like this that's left over h in terms of y. Now as the next step we're going to take a partial with respect to y of the function that we just found, this guy. We're going to plug it in and we're able to find x times 1 over y plus this term, the derivative of this guy. We have no idea what the derivative of this is, therefore we're simply just going to mark it as h in terms of y derivative. Now, we need to know at this point that what we found here is the exact same thing as the term n that we designated in the original equation. This will allow us to put the two equal to each other. In the original equation, n was x over y, and here was this term right here. I put it equal to each other, simplify it, and we're able to determine that hy prime is equal to 0. Now since we determined this, we're able to come back to this function of what we found here and update it. We're going to update because we determined this and we can replace this guy. Now this is the derivative of this. And what is of, of what? Can we take the derivative of, in order to get a zero, of a constant, right? That's why I put a k here. Now from the rules of this method, we need to also remember that at this stage, this is equal to a constant. Then I'm going to combine these two constants into one constant and I'm able to write up the solution to this problem. This is why I did not use C up here or here, because I wanted to save it for my final answer, where we always like to see it nicely written with just a nice simple C. Okay, now, one third x to the third plus x, ln y equals x. This is equals C, sorry. Now this is my final solution. Now a lot of times they want us to solve for y in our solutions. So 
instead of leaving it this way, just solve for it. We can trace it down and we're going to get a y that is equal to e to the power of c over x minus one third x squared. Now remember, like I said in the beginning of the video, I ran over very fast just the solution of this problem here. But if you want to know why did we take an integral, why did we take a partial here, why, 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 then I have a link in the description, follow it and understand the steps much more deeply in another problem. Thank you guys for watching. Please like the video so other people can find it as well and have a great day.